Hey dolls, welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless. Today's video is going to be on how to make a glitter mix. And you can use these for your natural nails, acrylic nails, pedicures, what have you, gel nails. It just all depends on, you know, the ratio of acrylic or whatever else you add to it. The mix that I'm making is going to be for acrylic nails. So I am going to get started and um, you pretty much want to figure out what you want your base to be and I want my glitter to be rather chunky so I'm going to start off with this pink glitter right here and I showed you guys this in my Walmart haul and I'm going to go in with one tablespoon of this alright so as you can see I have my um, tablespoon of pink glitter already mixed in and I'm just using a measuring spoon make sure that whatever you use for your acrylic nails gets put up with the acrylic nail art or what have you don't use this for food once you use it for your acrylic now the next thing to figure out is what else you want to add to your mix and it can be anything that you want and I craft so I have a lot of different things um, you can use flocking powder which is something that uh, crafters use but I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to add a little bit more um, chunky glitter and this is just a silver and gold mix that I came up with and um, I have it in a little honey bear uh jar so I'm gonna go in with the a half a tablespoon of this I'm gonna go in with a half a half a tablespoon of this and see what it looks like all right so I have my half a tablespoon of that mixed in And I'm sorry guys, it's late, so I'm like, probably don't have the best lighting, but hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. Now I'm going to go on with some tinsel. And this is by Recollections. Alright, and the color of this is Sunflower. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of this in my mix. So I'm going to just grab my teaspoon and pour a teaspoon of that in and then pour it into my mix. And you don't have to be super precise with this. Um, you just want to remember your measurements if you plan on uh, reusing it. Like I'll have these mixes for sale at my store so one teaspoon of the sunflower tinsel and you never know what your mixes are going to look like you just kind of go with the flow and um, just see what you come up with that's pretty much the fun part of it and you can use as many glitters or mixes that you with want some of these Martha Stewart stars alright and these are just some pink iridescent stars and I'm going to use a half of teaspoon. Again, once you mix it up, you can see what you want to add. Um, I like to add a little bit of everything first. Only because if you don't like it and you want to add something else, it will make it a little bit easier for you. So a half a teaspoon of the stars. And then I have some hearts that look just like it. And all of this stuff I purchased from my um craft store michaels so you can go to joann's michaels hobby lobby whatever is closest to you so i'm gonna use these little hearts all right half a teaspoon of the chunky hearts and at this point if you want you can mix it up and just use an orange wood stick and mix it up and see what it looks like and then once you mix it up, you can see what else it is that you want to add. I actually really like this mix, so I'm probably going to add a touch more of the stars, the heart, and the tinsel. I'm 
okay? Let me show you what it looks like. That is so pretty. Alright. Alright guys, so I'm adding one teaspoon of glitter. And I decided just to add that in there as like a filler. And this is just some Martha Stewart cotton candy iridescent glitter. Okay. And I also went in with another half a teaspoon of the hearts and the stars and another half a teaspoon of the tinsel glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this again just to see what I come up with. And I really like that filler. It gives it kind of like a bubblegum look to it. And my lighting is really sucking tonight, but... I wanted to get this video up because I'm about to do my nails. I just took my acrylics off. So, there you go. And then you can go ahead and name your mix. I think I'm going to call this one Flashy Diva because I really like it. If you're interested in purchasing it, just let me know. Inbox me, I guess. Um, but, again, when I reopen my online store i will have some nail mixes available for those of you who like to do your own acrylics okay dolls so in order to um mix your glitter mix with acrylic what you're going to need is some clear acrylic and then you just scoop out the glitter mix and then you scoop out the acrylic normally the ratio is half and half half your glitter mix and half your acrylic but sometimes if you have like a super chunky glitter mix like this one then i would just do a little more than half of the clear acrylic and then you just the same way you put them in you just put this in mix it up and then you get your monomer and you just apply it like you normally would with acrylic nails Another thing that you will want to do is make sure you test your new mix um, before doing a full hand. You will want to test it, make sure nothing bleeds. Uh, and what I like to do is just take a orange wood stick and glue a nail to it. And these are just a pack of full cover nails that I have from Kiss. Looks like this. And um, I just use those. And I test my mixes out on them. I'm getting ready to make another one. But I'll be sure to post some pictures for you guys at the end of the video of both mixes and what they look like on the net. Okay guys, so for the second mix, I'm going to go in with this Recollections Flocking Powder. And this one is in Party Pink. And um, Flocking Powder is kind of chunky. I'm going to go in with one tablespoon of this. And then now what I'm going to do is just take my little orange wood stick and kind of mix it up. Because it's kind of chunky. So to that flocking powder, I'm going to add one fourth teaspoon of that Martha Stewart cotton candy iridescent glitter. Again, that's one fourth teaspoon. And then you just want to take and mix it up. And see what you come up with. And I think for this mix, um... For the flocking powder one, that's going to be all that I use. I may add a little bit more um, glitter to it, but probably not. Because this one I plan to use as some accent nails in my new set. And um, these one, this one I actually plan to use for about three of my nails, okay? So those are my mixes. I hope you dolls like it. And again, if you're interested in purchasing them, just let me know. Personal message me. And that's all. Until next time, have a gorgeous day. Smooches. Bye.